Coming up on this episode of Pixel.info, optimize your iPhone game's performance by baking texture light maps using Maya 2010. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Akin. Alright, so today we'll be using Maya Baked Light Maps to speed up game performance. The trick is to get fewer draw calls by baking your shadows into the texture. First, we'll start by creating a texture sheet. A texture sheet holds all the textures that are used to make up the characters and other models in the game. So by combining textures into one file, you get a faster performance by using less cycles for each texture. For this tutorial, we'll be combining all the textures that make up this cell room. We'll use a size of 1024 by 768. While combining your textures, make sure even the plain color shaders are also in the sheet. Now link your poly UVs to the sheet. Now we can adjust the lighting in the scene, check the render to see where the shadows are casting. We'll create one UV set for all the polys by selecting all the polygons, go to the polygons menu under mesh, combine. Now create an automatic poly projection for all the polys. And then we'll go to the option box of automatic mapping. Under UV set, make sure the UV set name is light map. Hit apply. Now go into your UV texture editor and select the new UV set under UV set and then the light map UV set. You can switch back and forth to the original coordinates here. While having the poly selected, go to the render menu under light shading, batch bake, under the settings option, check bake shadows, the rest should be okay. Under texture bake set override, set the color mode to light only. Under prefix, use the name of the room to easily spot it out. For the iPhone, we'll use the X and Y resolution of 256 by 256. We can leave the number of samples to 4. Fill texture seams to 3.0. And then make sure override mesh UV set assignment is checked with the UV set name to light map. Now, click on Convert to Bake the Map. Alright, so now if we look into our project file under Render Data, Mental Ray, Light Map, you can see the light map Maya has created. Okay, now we have both the UV sets in the scene and the baked light map. Now, we'll go into the combined object and create a layered texture shader. Then we'll attach the texture and the UVs to the baked shadows UV set. We'll do this by clicking on the object, Assign new texture, layered texture. The first layer will hold the light map file. In the file node, we'll link it to the light map. For the blend mode, use multiply. Now we'll click to create a second layer. Select the file node. And we'll link that color texture sheet. Now we can link the light map and texture UV sets together. We'll set up a UV relationship under window Relationship Editor, UV Linking, UV Centric. By default, both are linked to the light map. Select the light map and link it to the light map UVs. The color texture should now link. Now let's test the link by going into the UV editor and switching between the sets. We can check the baked shadow in the poly by just deleting some faces. We'll hide the light and then do another test render. See if the shadows go through. And if linked properly, the shadows from all the objects should be in the render. All right, and now all we have to do is attach each object and texture to the light map UV. And that's how to bake light maps in Maya. Hope this helps in optimizing your next iPhone slash iPad game. 
Check the site for show notes and comments. See you guys next time. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Hacking.